can see in this super super easy to do I used a lot more colors but of course um, whenever I blew it out it did not work so I'm going to use less colors this time do what I did with that one. See. And last time I blew my black off of it so that it didn't um, go in to the colors. But I'm not going to Draw colors that I've already made up. So there are two parts blow draw, one part paint. It's super, super easy. No water, no nothing. They've been sitting about a month or so. So they've been. They would technically be past their prime, I'm sure. But they still work, so. So all I'm doing is basically just layering the colors. These are unglazed tiles. And I've done nothing to these paints since I made them. I shake them every so often. But other than that, that is all that I do to them. I don't like add more water or anything else. But it's just that for the most part. I'm going to take the, for the world's smallest blower off of Amazon. I also have one of it linked in my bio or whatever it is in the video description you could pick one of these up um, but it's here. See, I don't worry too terribly much about everything else. But see, that's why I did the black on this one differently. So that um, it wouldn't cover as much of that. So let's do it again with um, the black done like I did the first time. Otherwise, same exact way, which is black slightly different just to see the result of that wipe off my paint fingers all over everything all right so yeah this time when we do the black I'll do same thing with a little half circle in the corner Here, I'll take my blower and blow the paint up. So see now, whenever I blow it, it doesn't have all the excess to. Um, go all through the paints like that. But already it's kind of retreating back some, which makes it pretty neat looking. This is a color shifting paint. And so it'll look this color, but then, um, 
give a little bit of time and once it dries it'll have a neat little effect whenever you uh, look at it in certain light which makes it kind of fun I'm sure there's better ways to do this but this is something that I was doing today just uh, I'm on a mission to use up all paints. And so, I saw this method and go, oh yeah, let's try that. And then all the paint that drips, I'm dipping uh, other stuff in to make it, to make it look good that way too. Right, let's try this again. So see with this one not being, uh, not having the black move so much, it kind of made a little bit more like sunflower type esque. Because my hopes were, was if I'm gonna do a set, and I'd probably just do all four of them sitting on here, and blow them out that way. But my hopes were that it would be at least semi set up so that I could kind of do these side by side and they're semi cohesive at least. The first one that I did, that was the one that was on the intro of the video. This one is slightly, slightly too crazy so it may not work. But we never know until they dry. Um, you know, from here you can go through and change up, do different textures and such. Like as this one was trying, I went around and messed with some of that stuff. Just making it look kind of neat. Um, move that to the side. So this right here is all the paints that were dripped off. You know, they have a neat little effect on these already. So what I did earlier is just take some old black cell activator, put it on the swipe tool. And just give it a little swipe and see what happened with the paint. Just see if it would be worth uh, doing anything with or not. Plus I got some more new actual a cell activator that might work a little bit better than this old stuff. I have no idea how old this old stuff is. And this cell activator, this white one that I'm about to use, um, it came from one of my videos a while back where I was testing different cell activators. This right here is just one part paint, one part water. So it's literally the easiest cell activator that I've ever made. But see like that, immediately a lot better. I mean, look at that explosion of cells. And this paint's all separated and all that. But everybody puts so many rules on the art. And they make it out where, like, you could only do this if you have the most expensive equipment. Or the, the craziest stuff that's sent to you by a uh, pygmy from Vietnam. Or, I don't know, that might be offensive, I don't know. I didn't mean it to be, but you know what I'm saying. It's like, you could only get this result if you do it from... You know, get this horribly, horribly expensive stuff. But use my link. And if you use my link at all, it'll save you a couple bucks. I don't do any of that. 
no shame in the people that do. I just, I don't. Because I found a way that I could do all this without having to spend all that crazy amount of money on everything. But now, that kind of inspired me to do the same thing. But swipe it instead. So let me put my arm all up in the camera and get that over there. Because if I could get that on a poster, that would be pretty nice. Exact same process. I'll just do a little bit harder of a semicircle on this one. I might leave a little bit of the black paint on there this time. Just because it's going to be a swipe. Uh, no. No. I want the black to be there, but not ruin the rest of it, because it's going to be a white slate and not a black. And so, get some of that off. Oh, you can hear my musical clock. I never pay attention to what time it is, so I never shoot my videos around a specific time where the clock won't be going off. So, enjoy the, the clock I got from my grandma whenever she passed away. It goes off every single hour except at night time. So every single hour I get to know that she's with me. I like. And see, as you can see with it being older paint, it kind of gunks up a little bit. There we go. Because see, that's the thing with the older paint, because since I use flow trial, um, it tends to develop a skin on it after a while. Yep, same with the blue. It'll work good for a bit, but then, you know, you just have to kind of pull the snot plug out. Which is gross, but I don't have another word for it right now. I mean, I could go through and restrain it, but that's the reason why I'm trying to get rid of this paint. I mixed it up a, I don't know, a couple months back and didn't end up using it all. And uh, I have a problem where I mix way too much paint at one time. And then I end up doing these smaller pieces and forget that uh, paint goes bad. So. As Mr. Bob Ross used to say, there's only happy accidents. So we're gonna just basically put paint or swipe and paint on my you know, little tool and then uh, smooth it out a little bit with my finger. So we'll start over here. I don't know how far into the black I want to get, so we'll just go on the edge. Uh, So it has a little bit of the black, but not a crazy amount. And we always try to lower it down to get it as even as possible with it. Shake off some of the excess. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, so I apologize. <coughs> Sorry for the loud noise. 
I've got a lapel mic on, so it's on my shirt. And it's very much hard to avoid that. Eh, I'll continue the direction I was. She's on a crazy amount to sell and such on those. Kind of regret not doing that in the beginning. With it being on the side, I usually just take whatever the side color is. It's already dripped. And then just go from there. Get the edges all covered up. Yeah, I really like that one. See, it's all about experimenting. I wasn't going to do that style at all. I was going to do just a simple blowout. But, once I started to mess with all this paint on the bottom, I realized that there was a better way. So, I did the better way. And now I really like it. Now you can continue to play and, you know, have fun. Figure out your paint, figure out something that you're doing on the fly like that. Or go into it with open one design that you feel like having. Hope for the best. Those aren't usually my the good ones that I do. But see side by side kind of compared to They still look nice, but this one looks, uh, that one just captures my eye. So, I really like that one. But I'll post some photos on Facebook. Um, so if you're following me on there, it's kind of the same thing. All of my links are in my videos. I'm covered in paint. And, um, yeah, I'll post it on there. I'll take some closer up photos so that I can edit it onto these videos. And yeah, go from there. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.